360 Electricians. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of truck talk here. If you have found me, you know we're the number one electrical contractor channel for those electricians that want to become electrical contractors and electrical contractors to level up. I know you guys are tired of hearing it. Look, I got my Florence coffee here in Montana. I'll be getting on a plane tomorrow, heading to LA to my brick and mortar over there. But what I wanted to talk to you is if you are an electrical contractor right now, you've just started or you're about to be, I want to talk about the three things that you should be doing as a business owner. Ready? Sip that coffee. Let's get into the video. So one of the first things that I'm going to tell you that you need to do literally religiously when you own an electrical contracting business now in 2023 and 2024 is you need to search and price out your insurances every six months. This is so important. I coach so many of you guys that have gotten into insurance that you're paying so much money, it's ridiculous. And that's because when you first started, maybe you didn't have a good track record and therefore you got a bad rate. Every six months, I am researching, I'm checking, and I am pricing out insurance companies. Do not be afraid to tell your agent or your broker that you're shopping around and if you found a better price. I think that's the number one thing you can do to start putting a little bit more money in the bottom line is to search and price out insurance every six months. Now, those include your commercial auto insurance, your general liability insurance, and anything else you have, even workers comp. Do that and it's gonna help you level up for sure. Tip number two, if you're an electrical contractor or you're just starting out, is constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, be in hiring mode. What do I mean by that? My teams are incredible. They are the top of the top. I got the best guys working for me. The reason for that is I am continuously hiring. My guys know that if they don't step it up, that yes, they can be replaced by someone that is. Now, when you got guys that are at the top and you're not gonna replace them, it's always good to have a pool of people constantly applying and sending you resumes so that when you do level up and you get that next job, that you're ready, you have a pool of people that you can call and get more employees. Now, what you've also done is you've also vetted those people. I often interview even if I'm not hiring and then I let them know, you know what, there is no position that I have for you now, but now that I know that person, know what their qualifications are, have run them through the ringer, I know where to put them. Now, some of you guys are gonna say, well, Jeff, that sucks. You're not really gonna hire them, but you want them to interview. You let them know, hey, we don't have an opening right now, but I'm pre-interviewing for later. If you're interested, come in. And most of the time, they will be. Tip number two, continually, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, hire to level up your crew and your employees. Tip number three, it's a must if you're an electrical contractor. If you find something at 50% or lower, that's not gonna deteriorate, that's not gonna be outdated. For example, maybe Home Depot, just like the other week, thank you, Tennessee Electric, big shout out to you. He put out an Instagram that said, hey guys, run to Home Depot. They are selling their nail-on plastic boxes at over 50% off. Those are usually a dollar to a dollar ten a piece. He was absolutely right. We picked up nail and boxes for 48 cents. We picked up 100 boxes, people. Why? Why? Because I know I'm gonna use that. It's never gonna deteriorate. It's never gonna go old. I literally saved 50%. There's nowhere on God's green earth where you could put a dollar and make 50% profit, can you? Always buy and buy as much as you financially can when you know it's a great deal. I've done a video from almost two years ago when we started the channel where Lowe's was selling the ideal wire nuts for $4.80 for a pack of 500. Now I'm not the huge fan on that particular ideal wire nut, but it gets the job done for those customers that don't want anything extra. You still got a UL listed wire nut and I bought them for a fraction of the price. Tip number three, if you run into stuff that you can buy for 50% or lower, buy as much as you financially can. Hey, I hope these tips helped. If you need more help, don't forget to sign up for coaching below and don't forget about the ultimate marketing for electrical contractors and the ultimate paperwork for electrical contractors. Hey, smash that like and subscribe. Why are you not subscribed? Hook a brother up so I can give you more information like this and we will see you on the next one.